Okay, so I've been meaning to do something about Simply Gone for ages. Um, kind of mesh optimization and um, kind of loading, uh, remeshing if you're doing any photogrammetry or if you've got a really high poly model. Um, so you, the other kind of big boy on the block is uh, Instalod, but um, it costs thousands of dollars per seat. And um, the brilliant thing about SimpliGon, which is a, a Microsoft um, package, is you have a free option uh, for personal use. Um, read the section on pricing yourself. But so you can download um, uh, the client. It runs as this kind of thing in the background. You, you have to actually uh, so. Simply God, you have to have the grid agent running. Um, when you install it, you have an option as whether you want to auto run. I tend not to, so I'm just going to start it up now, so you get to see um, uh, see the thing working. I'm also going to show you how to install it. So there's some really good um, documentation for Unity. You just uh, first of all, you have to install. Um, the uh, USD package because uh, it in, within Unity it's it's built on Pixar's Universal Scene Description um, tech, so you do need that, and then you just throw in for, um, the DLL, and then it's available to you. Um, Blender's a bit more difficult; it's got, it's got a lot less uh, guidance, and I don't automatically. So I've got. Um, uh, Blender 293 which I've installed um, from Steam actually because I wanted to auto update and for whatever reason it doesn't automatically I think it's because the path to my add-ons is different it doesn't automatically install in the way that they they say it, it does so this doesn't work it doesn't just appear and, and in theory it should but it, it doesn't because the files aren't copied so I'm just going to show you the manual installation um, so you go to your add-ons folder which for me is this then you create uh, a new folder call it simply gone um, and do make sure it's all lowercase if you have a capital S it won't work um, right so the very first thing you then go to your program files after the installation of Simply Gone, the thing that installs the agent, the client that uh, you saw that be starting up. Go essentially into Simply Gone 9. Um, this is where you find the Unity folder. Uh, yeah, there's your DLL, so that's where you find the Unity plugin. But we're interested in the Blender one. So you go into Blender, and the files you want are all of these. So copy and paste uh, and then you go into the Python folder latest 3.9 and the file you want is simply gone just this one paste um, this one actually gets generated you'll see if you go back after you've run simply gone and initialized it in blender you, you'll see a file that is essentially this have been generated so you can you don't have to copy it over and then finally you need the actual loader which is still in Python just the loader and we want just simply go on load as so a copy and paste so now you've got one two three four five six files in um, our add-ons simply go on lowercase folder so I'll run Blender. It's um, 2.90 and up compatibility. Okay, here we go. Um, just a general, and then see, so just enable it. And if everything's gone right, then you will see it. And you just enable it, and you're done. So let's import. An FBX from somewhere. Put 
Ну. So that's 32 odd triangles, 19 odd verts. Okay, so I just concentrate on the, the body. So the way you use it is then having installed it, it appears and add load component is essentially for each one of these you'll get an exported mesh so add lard then you get a choice of what kind of mesh optimization do you want like reduction remeshing aggregation which is I guess mesh combine you want to make billboards or imposters you'll have to read the documentation for each of those I'll just do a really basic uh, reduction let's say with material baking why not like um, combines all the materials um, if you open that up then you've got your options so um, reduction settings so that will be a 50% reduction um, so that's kind of how you would do so if I wanted for example so that's my they call it a pipeline and you once you've set it to what you want so I could say for example 75 75 percent reduction uh, you can by the way save each pipeline so if you return to them that's useful uh, and then so that's my first pipeline at 75 and then you can add another component it could be different or it could be the same and then in that one for example you might say I want that at 50 so that's a 75, 50, and that's the way you can get like multiple LODs created. That's why they're calling it LOD components. Each one of these pipelines will run through essentially the selected um, mesh. If you don't select anything, this process button is greyed out. It might catch you out basically because that's selected mesh. And if you've got more than one, you can do your combining, you know. But I'll just do the body uh, process off it goes and we now have so if I just okay try to do a better comparison now so that's uh, lot one, oh sorry, lot two, um, which was the fifty percent. Yes, so our verts are now ten k uh, with eight thousand tries. So it's you know it's done okay. It'll be fine for like uh, a lot two, uh, and you can of course like you know further mess around with the meshes and smooth things out if you feel things are really wrong I probably would do that at the front because I think that would be quite eye-catching here yeah, but that's yes yeah, so that's the lot two uh, the lot one has gone down to 12 interestingly the tries are about the same but it's 12 uh, thousand triangles it's a much better that's it's kind of a pretty good optimization um, as opposed to yes yeah, 16 um, interesting the verts verts 10,016 tries twelve and many more verts so it's definitely there's something went on in that kind of um, that type of reduction and you can just you know explore the different types I just went with as I say the the very basic one the um, advanced reduction but there is some some better ones there is a remeshing uh, which I find is quite useful especially for photogrammetry uh, objects um, okay but that's the basics of getting your um, simply gone uh, plug-in working in blender and how amazing it's you know it's free um 
thanks Microsoft. 